Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies video. Today what I have for you guys is all the audio logs on Shadows of Evil. These are activated by going up to the phones around the map. There's 10 of them to be exact and also keep in mind that you do have to ride the train and then the person who activated the train also has to go up to that phone to activate it. So there's 10 in total. I'm going to play all of them and I want to give a big shout out to my friend Grizz uh, Violent. He was the one that helped me do all this. So go check out his channel Grizz Zombies. The link will be down in the description. Go subscribe to him. He posts some awesome zombies video so if you guys enjoy zombies like these types of videos he already has them on his channel and honestly he's really really smart when it comes to the storyline and all that stuff so go check him out guys and i hope you enjoy the audio logs on shadows of evil to any survivors of this realm i am truly sorry i wish i could offer you some words of comfort but i cannot it is my hope that I can rid the universe of the evil that has plagued us for so long. But in my heart, I know many more dimensions will be lost forever as we continue our journey towards peace. Forgive me. Hey Jackie, it's me. Some suit from Internal Affairs came by today, asking a whole bunch of questions. I didn't say anything, because I don't know anything. As far as I can tell, you're in the clear. I trust you, Jackie. You're my best friend. You're like a brother. I just wanted you to know that I got your back. Always. Please understand that you yourself are not under any suspicion at this time. This is merely an informal interview. Yeah, yeah, I know. Can we just cut to the chase? The chase? Excellent metaphor. Or is it an allegory? I can never remember the difference. You want to know about my partner, Jack Vincent? You're a good detective. So what do you want to know? That he's a loudmouth, a show-off, more than a little rough around the edges? That he's a drinker, a smoker? How about the fact that he's got a wife that scares him more than any criminal out there? What do you want me to tell you? Is Jack Vincent on the take? Listen, the more I talk to you, the more I'll get a reputation around the precinct. Can we maybe do this elsewhere? Nero, I have the most wonderful news. The loan documents were fraudulent. Well, your wife was fraudulent. She forged your signature on the loan agreement, and we can prove it. The date on the forms says November 5th last year. Exactly the same time that you were in the hospital following your performance of the amphibious man. You couldn't possibly assign those papers. You were in a coma for the entire month. Putting aside your enormous self-interest as a promoter, what would you like to say to boxing fans everywhere about the upcoming fight? Yeah, uh, particularly with regard to this last-minute substitution. Uh, Floyd Campbell? I'd like to say that Floyd Campbell is a credible opponent, despite how the bookies may see it. What about the fact that fans would much rather see the number one contender facing off with the champion, your champion, as opposed to this little herd of journeyman fighter? Look, there's no doubt that Floyd Campbell is the underdog. Nevertheless... Are you using Campbell to keep your big money maker away from opponents who could be just a little too dangerous? The champ doesn't avoid anyone. But... But nothing. This interview is over. No further questions. Hey, Floyd! You did good. You kept your word. Delivered the knockout. I just wanted to tell you not to worry about any journalists or commission investigation. That is done. Anyways, besides setting your mind at rest, I wanted to give you the good news. It's all set. You got it, Floyd. You got your title shot. January 15th. As you know, I'm looking to cast the female lead in my new picture. And I heard that you have quite the roster of up-and-coming talent in this town. Can you maybe tell me a little more about what kind of woman you're looking for? I'm looking for an all-American girl, a real beauty. I heard you may know an aspiring actress by the name of Jessica Rose. The burlesque dancer? 
<laughs> uh, she ain't exactly peaches and cream, or sugar and spice. Now, I heard she's a real firecracker, if you know what I mean. I'd like to meet her. Give her a screen test. Leave it with me. I'll get back to you. Hey, Mr. Rapp, just checking in. So, I'm here. Finally. Taking in the sights, sounds, and smells of Morgue City. I know you sent me here to write a piece about the city's bustling nightlife and theater scene, and the characters that inhabit it, but things are getting kind of strange. Even though no one seems to want to talk about it, something is definitely off about this city. Just last week, there was a media shower. A freaking media shower. And everybody acted like it was no big thing. Then, the mold showed up. All over the city. In the dark, damp alleys, there's a strange kind of fungus growing. It looks weird, it smells even weirder, but nobody really says anything. Then people started getting sick. At first it just made them delirious, confused. Then they really got sick. It was like they were wasting away. People finally started talking about it. I spoke to one guy in his 80s, a fruit seller, at the local market. He said something similar happened in New England in 1882. When I tried to press him on it, he just lowered his head and ignored me. If you ask me, something definitely ain't right here. Hey, hey, Jessica. A movie director came by to talk to me today, said he wanted to meet you. I gotta be honest, I didn't get a good feeling from him. I told him where to go. <laughs> well, not in so many words. Listen, I'm glad you didn't sign that studio contract. Truth is, I'm not even much of a producer. I'm more of a talent wrangler. Here's the thing. My partner's written a musical that just got financing. I know that you're gonna be perfect for the lead. This time next year, you're gonna be on Broadway, baby! Hey, Mr. Rapp. So, I went by the market again today. For some reason, the fruit seller was much more talkative. Even if what he said was more than a little crazy. He told me that when he was a boy, his uncle would get drunk and start talking about how a dark force cast its shadow over the city. How good and evil were battling right on our doorstep. And that the only thing holding back the forces of the apocalypse was the ancient order of the Keepers. Well, even if what he said was more than a little crazy, I'm not sure he was. Even though they're scared, or maybe because they are, people are talking more. Asking around, I've heard more than a few whispers about this ancient order and the Keepers. I think it's some kind of cult. They say you can hear them chanting sometimes, from beneath the city. There's all these rumors about human sacrifices and freaky stuff that even the police won't investigate. Because they've been paid off. Because they're too scared. I'm not sure what to believe anymore. Hey, Mr. Rat. So I tracked down all the people you asked me to look into. I sent you a telegram with all their details, all their contact numbers. It's not that I'm ungrateful. I know the checks you've given me have been more than generous for services rendered. It's just... All this stuff you've had me do. Tracking down ancient artifacts in the South Pacific. Finding all these strange metals and rocks in Russia. And still, I haven't even met you face to face. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Rapp. I think maybe the mood in the city is getting to me a little. They're making me nervous. Antsy. Uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to you finally getting here.